Before this video starts, I just want to let you guys know that the 1K sub Q&A will be released later this week. I'm not sure which day this week it will be, but just letting you guys know that it will be coming. Sorry for the big delay. But with that, let's get straight into the video. So with Hidden Summoners coming out comes a brand new archetype known as the Mayakashi, a brand new zombie synchro based strategy that introduces some pretty cool cards to us and overall is pretty interesting. But the question is, is the Mayakashi archetype worth it so let's get right into this mayakashi are a zombie based synchro archetype revolved around synchro climbing into a level 11 synchro monster known as gashatokuro the skeletal mayakashi through synchro climbing into this level 11 synchro this level 11 synchro being the highest level synchro monster you can get access to through all of this you get a lot of zombie monsters in the graveyard so the main reason you do all of this is as your synchro monsters are being destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects, you get to bring back the monster two levels lower from your graveyard. So for example, if Yoko, the level nine synchro monster is destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effect, you can summon the level seven synchro monster Tengu from your graveyard. The idea is all of these float into their lower levels, but at the same time as well, once they are floated into, they get extra effects. So when the level 11 is special summoned from the graveyard, it can make itself unaffected for the rest of the turn by other card effects, the level 9 pops a monster the opponent controls, the level 7 pops a spell and trap, the level 5 mills 3 cards from both players' decks, and the level 3 protects your monsters from battle destruction. This is a pretty neat interaction, however you might be asking how does the level 11 get summoned from the grave if obviously you can't summon it when another synchro is destroyed? Well here's the thing, the Mayakashi also have a link monster. The link monster is known as Yuki Ona and the effect is as as follows. Two Mayakashi monsters. You can only control one Yukiona, the Ice Mayakashi. While this card points to a synchro monster, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. If a synchro monster in your possession is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect while this card is on the field, you can target one phase-up monster on the field, its attack and defense become half its current attack and defense until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Yukiona, the Ice Mayakashi, once per turn. The thing is, this card really doesn't do anything besides serve as a link monster for the Mayakashi that gives arrows. You're really only focused on the Mayakashi synchros. The fact is, this card is way too reliant on the opponent and doesn't actually do basically anything for the archetype. Considering this deck is so focused on synchro climbing, we have to ask ourselves the question, how does this deck actually achieve the synchro climbing? Well, it's actually very simple. So basically, along with the five synchro monsters you get in this strategy, you also get five main deck monsters. Each main deck monster is correlated with one of the synchro monsters. All of these main deck monsters have the restriction of restricting you from summoning other monsters from your extra deck besides Mayakashi monsters. So you can't make a card like F8 Dawn Dragster or any synchro monster at all besides Mayakashi monsters. I feel as though if this restriction wasn't there, this deck would be so much better. But the fact is, you can only summon Mayakashi monsters. And as you will be able to tell in a second, they don't really do much. Much. Yasha the level 5 special summons itself from hand by discarding another Mayakashi monster. Shafu summons another Mayakashi from Grave on Normal or Special Summon, but it negates its effects. And the last not really relevant main deck monster is Tsukahagi, which special summons itself from the graveyard when another synchro monster is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. Overall, all three of these monsters are very mediocre, and while Tsukahagi is run at 1 and Shafu is played at 2, these three aren't really that relevant for the deck's main goal. The two most important Mayakashi monsters, however, are Hajun and Daki. What's so good about Hajun is it special summons one Mayakashi from your deck. And in this case, it's absolutely amazing. This card becomes the one card level 11 synchro. And if you don't know how this is possible, well, the next monster is Daki. Daki is by far the most important Mayakashi in this strategy. As every time a Mayakashi is special summoned, you can also summon Daki from from your graveyard. Now you might be thinking, oh, this is only good with Hajun because you can special summon it once, synchro for the level three, and then return Daki from your graveyard to the field to synchro summon for the level five, and that's it. However, that's just not the case as Daki is actually not even a once per turn. There is no restriction on Daki's special summoning effect. This is very important and the real only way you're going to synchro climb in this strategy. Daki is what brings the speed for this deck and really is the only card that can make this 
strategy even work because hajun becomes a one card level 11 this can set up literally every single one of your plays it can also easily summon your link monster for you and just overall is absolutely amazing this deck also has a spell and trap for the strategy and the spell is called mayakashi revolt the spell can either send a Mayakashi from your deck to the graveyard, or add a Mayakashi card from your deck to your hand. This is ridiculous. Most decks would love to have this card in their strategy, and the fact that Mayakashi get it is absolutely amazing for the strategy. However, here's the thing. The strategy really isn't that good. I'll, I'll get more to that later, but you'll be surprised at how bad this strategy really is. Most decks would kill to have a spell card like this in their strategy, and is so powerful. The trap card, however, ever is Mayakashi Metamorphosis. This is the last card in the strategy as of right now and is actually very important. It might not seem that good at first, but actually you need to play this card at around three copies. The fact is every single Mayakashi gets an effect when they're special summoned from the graveyard. And in order to get these effects, you want to have revival traps. And Mayakashi Metamorphosis is one of those trap cards that can actually revive your Mayakashis on your opponent's turn in order to disrupt them. For example, if you can special summon Yoko from your graveyard, this means you can pop an opponent's Ice Soul Day whenever you want. Even though you need to discard with Metamorphosis, that doesn't really impact the strategy that much as it basically is a one for one. You can special summon the zombie from your graveyard and then pop something your opponent controls, whether that be a monster or a spell and trap. This also gives the monster special summon protection for the rest of this turn by targeting from card effects. Metamorphosis is it's versatile and essential for this strategy. In the end, this deck is actually horrible. I haven't been that hard on it yet, and I explained earlier a little bit as to why this deck is bad, but let me get into that a little bit more. This deck doesn't offer anything with just the synchros. This deck is way too reliant on your opponent's cards. Because think about it, the only way these guys float is when they are destroyed by a battle or your opponent's card effects. If your opponent can easily summon Nightmare Unicorn, literally this card is played in every single extra deck. And the reason why it's played is because it's such good removal. The fact is, if they summon a Nightmare Unicorn, you're actually just screwed. This card shovels the monster back into the extra deck, stopping your whole versatility. If they go ahead and activate Sky Striker, Mecha Widow Anchor, and steal your Synchro, well, in that case, you also lose the floating ability. This deck has so many ways to be outed, and overall is not good whatsoever. Ever. While yes, you can summon these cards on your opponent's turn, that doesn't change the fact that by itself, these monsters are terrible and don't actually do anything unless your opponent is dumb enough to do something to them. This deck is also incredibly fragile. Think about it. Ash on Hajun actually kills this deck. Impermanence on the Hajun kills this deck. Technically, Ghost Ogre kills this deck because it removes the Hajun from the field. Ghost Bell also kills this deck because it only leaves the level 3 on field. Every hand trap under the sun can stop this deck. As well, this deck does have an FTK technically, which is a mood and a half. However, it's so fragile and requires way too much. It requires some sort of access to soul absorbing bone tower. One additional synchro summon of a Mayakashi to bring back the Daki from your graveyard and the Hajun Daki combo. It just requires so much and is just so fragile that overall I don't think this deck is Good. Now, to be fair, this deck is only $34.80, which if you really think about it is incredibly cheap. But this deck is just so bad that there is no reason to purchase this with $34.80 over any other strategy that could be way better than this. I can't think of any examples off the top of my head, but trust me, there are better decks than this strategy that are cheaper than the $34.80, not to mention the Mayakashi cards are probably going to become even cheaper as time goes on. So is this deck worth it? 100% no. Do not pick up this deck, it is a waste of a good $34.80. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you want to support me further than just watching my YouTube videos, then go down into the description and support me through Patreon. As well, if you guys want to talk to me further than just the YouTube comment section, go down into the description and join my Discord server. I'd love to have you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.